Alright guys, so today we have Sam's Fluffles versus my totally awesome heroes. Team Bro Pyre! Alright, so I think that Sam forgot what I was playing, otherwise you probably wouldn't have let me gone first. Um, <laughs> So, um, but I don't think I open up with, uh, too well. I think I open up with a little bit too much Monster Clog. I'm gonna go 10 Goldfish to, um, Summoner Monk and, um, go into a Shadow Mist, search Mass Change, you know, so I can make Dark Claw. But yeah, I don't have the uh, Bahamut Shirk play, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and overlay for Reflasia, which is not a bad opening whatsoever. Um, set two, you know, one of which is the Mass Change, and I think the other one's like a Twin Twisters or something. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is the Twin Twisters. But, um, anyways, uh, this deck that Sam's playing is actually Shadal Fluffle. Um, he calls it Barnyard. Um, he actually got his first invite of the season so far playing this deck, so it's not a bad deck whatsoever. Um, you know, and I'm playing Helmet Dot deck. Like this deck is just is really stupid. Make Dark Law, make Toad, sit on it, win. Like it's it's really really like it's ridiculously like broken, really. Um, so um, he goes. He he took forever. I cut right there. He took forever to decide what he wanted to do because Dark Law is a pain in the ass. It is a huge pain in the ass. Uh, so we ended up deciding to do was uh, go for a shit all fusion. And um, he goes. And he uh, decides to go ahead and make a uh, Shikanaga, uh, which isn't like a bad play. And I, I think I read yeah Shikanaga because I, I mean it's been forever since I played against Shadals. Like I forgot what that card even did, you know. And um, you know because no one really touches Shadals anymore. It's kind of it's kind of sad, really. You know, not seeing that deck around anymore. But I might go ahead and um, activate the Reflasia. And then um, Reflasia is going to send. I think I go ahead and send the uh, yeah Bottomless Trap Hole and then uh, banish it. So. Um, now he uh, decides to summon Dog, and uh, that's his normal summon, so he gets Dog's effect, and I activate uh, Dark Claw's effect uh, for um, after he searches. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get to uh, snipe a random card out of his hand and uh, banish it, which is just ridiculous. And um, I snipe the wings, which is broken. He passes turn, nothing he can do. And then um, I just go to town right here. Um, I'm trying to decide uh, what the most optimal way to go about this is. Um, go ahead and mass charge. Uh, mass charge um, gets me back a, a Shadow Mist. Um, you know, then I go ahead and summon the Shadow Mist off of 10 Goldfish. And then I immediately mass change into an Anki. And then um, I set my second mass change, go into a Bahamut Shark and then activate Bahamut Shark and then go into my first Toad. Yeah, and he scoops it up. There's nothing he could really do about it. That was just like really, really good and really strong um, plays on my part. I mean, the deck is just so Helmet. Like, th there's a reason um, I actually uh, got rid of this deck. Um, I actually do not play Heroes anymore. Um, I love the deck, don't get me wrong. I do love the deck, but I also love um, a challenge when I play. Like, I love Heroes as an archetype. It's one of my favorite archetypes, but um, as far as play style, um, you know, I wanted more of a challenge, so I actually switched over to um, to Metal Foes because, you know, to, like, just, it's hard to explain. Like, having, having to really think about your moves versus, like, do the same move every time, you know, making Dark Law, making Toad, and just sitting on it, or making Dark Law, making Reflasia, like, ma doing the same thing over and over again, or, you know, the next turn, or just, or just, like, the pure rank 4 spam with Bubble Man, doesn't take, like, a whole lot of thought versus Metal Foes, which which does take a lot more thought, so that's why I switched to it. But um, yeah, he opens up with um, he opened up with Winda, so um, there was nothing really I could do. I just used my one special summon for a Shadow Mist um, off the Summoner Monk, and then um, I think uh, let's see what he does because he's he only has one special summon too. So he goes into um, you know polymerization. I chain. Um, I'm going to Dark Law, search Bubble Man, of course. I mean, that's another thing, like the same move over and over and over again. Um, you know, not talking shit about the deck, because once again, it is one of my favorite archetypes. It's just, it just is the same moves over and over. Um, you know, I feel like even Fluffles, like, you know, you takes more thought than, he, than heroes do. Um, then he pops uh, my two cards, um, my Dark Law, and I think that was a um, Twin Twister or something. But um, if it was a mass change, I would have changed. <laughs> but. Um, right here, so this is interesting. Right there, I have the Storming Mirror Force, which you guys are gonna be like, why are you playing Storming Mirror Force? Like, why are you doing it? Well, it's because of my locals. There's a lot of people playing like Synchro Shenanigans, Zombie Synchro Shenanigans, Dark Synchro Shenanigans, and just like all kinds of random shit. Uh, there's hero players there. And so like overall, like Storming, in my locals anyways, given what people are playing, Storming Mirror Force is stronger than the, um, you know, the, the um, sorry, not the Drowning, but the Quaking Mirror Force. And the battery did die 
right, but um, I go ahead right here. You can see what I'm doing. I'm going into another toad. Uh, the battery died immediately after I made the other toad, but Sam did scoop. It was a 2-0 match, you know. There's nothing he could really do about it. Um, I'm going to have more duels up. I'm going to be editing uh, shortly after this. Uh, but yeah, guys, as always, if you like this video, then dick slap that like button and subscribe.